Travis Campbell here and I want to show you in this video how you can send a mass mailing to people in your ACT database. So you can see on the screen here I have ACT 2010 and uh, I'm going to first of all I got to create a message and then I'm going to mail merge it. I want to send it out. Now there's more than one way to send an email out to a group of people. Um, you don't have to use ACT but one of the nice things is you can record a history and you can personalize the body part of the message. So I want to actually uh, just let you know that in advance I have Outlook as my email package and that's what's integrated with ACT. It's already set up and I don't have the time to, to show you that in detail in this video. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a new email template. I'm actually going to go and edit an existing one. So I just go to the right menu and I choose uh, edit template and you can see I've created this uh, holiday email here and I'm going to go ahead and open that. That opens it up in Microsoft Word which is the editor um, that's set up on this particular computer. So you see it in the background here. Here's the uh, and all the merge fields. I can drop any merge fields that I wish into the message. I've already set that up. So you can see it says uh, salutation which is essentially their first name and uh, wishing you the best Thanksgiving holiday ever. Obviously you want to say something a little bit more meaningful than that. Um, merge my contact information in here uh, that I'm logged in as on this particular database. I'm logged into the ACT demo database. So it's going to prompt me to save this. I'm going to say yes. And then the next thing we need to do is merge it. Now I recommend that uh, you kind of clean up your database and you look up the folks that you want to have this message first and then once you have that lookup established uh, you go ahead and merge it and you merge it to the lookup. For purposes of this video I'm just gonna I'm using the demo database I'm not gonna take the time to do that um, because this is not gonna be a real mail merge but I'm just gonna do it to a group I'll show you what I mean. So write mail merge and one strategy for tracking purposes is you can create a group it's just for this specific merge so you know who you had sent it to and you can quickly find them in the system. So I'm going to go ahead and hit next to this wizard and I'm going to send this message with email so I'm going to choose the email option and then I'm going to browse for that holiday template. Hit the browse button and you'll see it right there and I will go ahead and move this window up so we can see it. Uh, hit open, next and this is where you would just leave it at current lookup if uh, you're following my recommended path. In this situation, as I mentioned, I'm using the, uh, the demo database. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to hit this drop down and choose a group. I'm going to choose key customers from the demo database here. I'll hit next. And you may have a situation, uh, oh, first of all, enter the subject. And here's where you can determine what you want to record as a history. Since this is going to be a a mass mailing message. I recommend subject only. It's less intensive in the database, but it also allows you to know, you know, whether um, someone was sent the message or not. And I'll hit next, and then it's an. It gives you some options for missing email addresses. Um, you know, omit those records from the email merge, which is what is set by default, which I recommend. You can um, you can omit the contact and say not sent. You can omit the contact and create a lookup of omitted contacts after or you can just cancel the merge and create a lookup for contacts of missing email addresses and then clean those up. I'm going to go ahead and say omit for now. I'll hit next and then I'll hit finish. Now as I mentioned I'm using Outlook and this is the uh, the Outlook uh, that's configured on this system. So I'm going to go over back to act and say finish and it begins to merge those records. So it's pulling data from the contact fields of those members in the group that have an email address and dropping it into this template and putting it uh, on a sent message. So it'll go through here. Now I want to talk a little bit about performance and the volume. Now there's a couple of criteria. I don't recommend any more than 200 to 300 folks that you would mail to in mass like this. Um, there's a couple reasons. One, the database isn't designed to you know, mail from your system doing all the processing to a 5,000 contacts. It's just not designed to do that. It's labor intensive in the database. And if you're on a shared system, it affects the performance of everybody as it's writing all those histories to the database. Uh, two, um, 
you don't want to be identified on the internet as an IP address that's mass mailing and spammy people because internet service providers have a database and that database identifies people that are spammers and if you get on that list uh, it's not going to be good you could get phone calls um, you know you just don't want to do that um, this is a very simple way to mass mail a group of people um, you would be well do well to consider if you're going to do this regularly uh, to look at what SwiftPage offers with their integration uh, with ACT. That is a hosted email service provider. It goes out from their email address and it brings the history down to ACT based on how folks interact with the email message. So uh, that's it. That's how you send a mass mail. I would strongly encourage you to do it. Build a relationship with your customers and prospects and those in your market. Use the database intelligently. Well, my name is Travis Campbell. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found some value in it. If you did, or even if you didn't, please feel free to comment below this video. Uh, and if you're watching this video from YouTube, if you can rate the video and subscribe to the channel, that would be an indicator to me that this is the type of information that you find helpful. Well, thank you for watching this video. I wish you all the best, uh, the best of uh, the holidays, whatever time of year this is, and wherever you're at in the world. Um, signing off for now, and we'll speak to you again soon. Bye-bye.